of a journey which we hope will end up on the third Sunday in September in Crow Park. Well, without a doubt, and I suppose, you know, given our performances in the league, we were, you know, it, was, it was a yo-yo for like, we were up and down, but we managed to reach the league final, and in doing so, you know, we won it. And that was, you know, it gives us all a bit of confidence. I think it gives the Kerry management and the players a bit of confidence as well. The one notable thing here as well for me, I'm looking at Michael Ganey of Dingley. His knee is very, very heavily stapped. Yeah, so Michael's left not a man, knee. Yeah, he's not a man to go on with these kind of capers now, stapping stuff, but he's heavily stapped his left knee. No, I hope that everything's all right with Michael because we certainly want to keep what we have now for the moment. And a good start is vital here, Gary. Yeah. And we are looking like we're playing with the wind. No Mr. late positional changes by Kerry. I can see Claire have made a few. Shawnee Collins has gone for the 42 left half forwards. That's one change in it. Kerry playing as selected now. Jack Barry in the middle of the field with Anthony Maher up against big Gary Brennan and Cahill O'Connor. Pori Cures throws the ball in and we're off and running here in Cusick Park at Ennis in the break. First break of the afternoon. First ball got by the captain, Gary Brennan. Big, strong man. He's going to cause him problems this afternoon, pulling at him all the time and picking at him was Paul Murphy plays the ball outside to David Tuberty and David Tuberty after only 16 seconds first point for Clare Ambrose yeah, very very good score what we, what we spoke about earlier, Gary Brennan is a really big player and I think you know Anthony Maher will have to get back with him, you have to attack this for the back because he loves going forward give a ball into Tuberty, we said it earlier, that inside line on clearly Tuberty and Sexton can cause us problems if they get a feed from midfield very short kick out to Peter Crowley Kerry are playing from left to right. They are playing with the wind. It is cross field, but still it is favouring Kerry in this first half. The ball is over on the far side of the field, and Shane in right to Dunica Walsh. It's come back to the left half back position. First touch for Jack Barry. Jack Barry into the middle to Tyg Morley. Tyg Morley, lovely slip pass to Dunica. Dunica in front of me, Anthony Maher. Decided not to give it to Maher. Going long now for James O'Donoghue. James O'Donoghue trying to get there ahead of Dean Ryan. Very near the corner flag, and the ball is it not going to win the race? It's not. James O'Donoghue keeps it in, but he only passes it back uh, to the number 26, who's Kieran Ross. Russell, who's come in for the start for Clare. Heavy tackle gone in over and fairly so there by Jack Barry. The referee didn't see much wrong with it. Shawnee Collins has it for Clare. Coming up through the middle now again. Good start by the Bannerman. And this is their other midfielder, Cahill O'Connor. Low ball inside there. Little bit of looking and not decisive enough by Kerry. And once again, it's David Tuberty. But this time he's pulled it right and wide. The Kerry's full back then a little bit betwixt and between there, Ambrose. This is very, very early days. And you can absolutely see what the Clare tactic is going to be. They're going to win in midfield and they're going to pump everything into David Tuberty. And it's, you know, I I, I noticed Kelly pulling Dunica Watch back a little bit. I know we're playing with the wind. I wouldn't be for that tactic and be honest about it. Kevin McCarthy's lost a bad one. It's gathered by Jamie Malone. Jamie Malone, midfield advantage given by Pauly Hughes. Give it outside now to Pierce Lillis from Cora Clare. Pierce Lillis now. Opposing him is Tyg Morley. Slips it in nicely for Gary Brennan. Gary Brennan, he's inside the left corner forward position as well. He's walked outside now here to Keelan Sexton. Sexton gives it to Shawnee Collins. Collins gives it outside to Jack Malone. It's keep all at the moment for Clare. And now Cahill O'Connor. Carl O'Connor trying to pick that decisive pass Shane in right under a little bit of pressure with Owen Cleary Cleary wins the ball but in right pushes him out to the left corner forward to the right corner forward position to the corner flag it's still clear making the run there was Russell but cutting out back there is Dunica Walsh doing great work from left half back he's away back at the corner back position with him now is uh, Shane in right coming out and then Shane in right has found a man in space that might be is it calling for it is Fionn Fitzgerald who's away out in the middle of the field because he's following his man this is Michael Ganey Michael Ganey with a very heavily bandaged left knee this afternoon. Still Ganey coming more into the middle. Ganey inside looking for James O'Donoghue. Oh, it evades James O'Donoghue. Slips through his fingers and gives it inside Ambrose to Dean Ryan. Clare have settled have, better. They have settled better. There's two very good high quality balls gone into James and he's missed both of them. No, but it's, I like that tactic. They're kind of adopting a two man for forward line. They're using James and Paul Ganey inside that inside line. Barry John is coming out to the half forward line and Dunica Walsh is and pushing a high challenge by Barry John Walsh and Parry Hughes is going for the notebook. He's going for the book here. What is it? Uh, it's well, two early days now, in fairness, you know, it's, it's only about three minutes and ten seconds gone. It's yellow, you would imagine, because Once he did yellow. swing him around the neck. We have three and a half minutes gone. The colour of the card for Barry John Kane is yellow. Very early days to get a yellow card, but you, you quite pointed out rightly, Gary. Clare have settled much better than the Be worse be worse if a defender got a yellow. Anyway, here's Gary Brennan getting away from Jack Barry. Anthony Maher now coming in. Brennan again to Shawnee Collins, son of the... Our, uh, of the, the trainer column and of course brother of Podge this outside again to Gary Brennan Gary Brennan having a cut now is Keelan Sexton it's curling it's curling but it's not going to curl enough it's gone left and wide and the, 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 the stand here we're looking for a point but that's the second wide for clear yes indeed a far better start Ned Kelly we, we're, we're not settling down at all I mean there's only three three minutes 57 seconds gone we're not settling down no we need to move get that ball in 
you know, earlier to the inside line. We got one or two good balls in and get a score. It should settle Kerry. Tyg Morley giving inside now to Paul Ganey, taking on Kevin Harlett. It's still Paul Ganey. He's isolated. He's in the stand side, in the far side of the field. That's a poor effort from Paul Ganey. Straight into the goalkeeper's hands, Joe Hayes. And Joe Hayes gives it out nice and easily to Pierce Lillis. Four minutes gone here in Cusick Park. And it's one point to Clare. It's no score yet to Kerry. And with the possession that Clare have had, there should be at least three points to no score up. A lot of tugging off the ball. Certainly Pierce Lillis to me was pulling Kevin McCarthy down. Will the linesman now call the referee's attention for that one? And, That's ridiculous and by the And giving out to the linesman big time. And rightly so. It happened right in front of the linesman. He put his finger up to his lip to tell Ganey shut up. I mean, what was he to do? He was being pulled and dragged all over the place. Very heavy mist falling again here now in Cusick Park. But again, it is on the ascendancy. It is clear again. And it is Carl O'Connor into the middle of the field. The roars. Remember, the wind is against clear in the first half. Martin McMahon into space again. Nicely grabbed inside once again by David Tuberty. And once again, David Tuberty is put it over the bar. I know there's only five minutes gone, Ambrose, but Mark Griffin it so far has his hands full on Tuberty. Yeah, there's giving a good quality ball in. They're winning midfield, which is the big thing for, for, for Clare. They're kind of adopting a two-man for forward and they're playing against the breeze, but when they attack, they go up in numbers and they're using Tuberty and at the moment Tuberty's having the upper hand on Mark Griffin. And again, we've lost possession in the middle of the field and again it is Clare that have settled this the better. Here now is Cahal O'Connor. Cahal wearing the number nine into the uh, to his left hand side, he gives it to Martin McMahon. He's the left corner forward. Another high tackle again by Michael Ganey, but the referee gives advantage. This is Keelan Sexton, and now he'll call play back. High tackle by Michael Ganey. Probably doesn't warrant a card, but it is a free in. Yeah, and it's, it's inexcusable, you know. It, it's, it's a free every time, and Michael is protesting to the referee. Now he's going to the linesman as well, I know, but that's no good, you know. He's taking his frustration out on an incident that happened three, no, a couple of seconds earlier. But that's no good, it's a free, and it's clear of setting much, much better than we are. And I can tell you one thing for a clear side, they looked to have a lot of work done and credit their management. You know, you'd have to say at the moment, clear up there, bouncing off the ground, they're in good shape. Free is played back, and Pierce Lillis has now gone inside, carries 45. Oh, yes, a most definite foul there. I don't think Shane Inright can. can have uh, too much arguing on that. He certainly pulled down Owen Cleary, and this is a free about 25 30 yards out from goal, dead straight in front of the post, Ambrose. It should be 3 0 to clear. Should be, it should be. Yeah, it's notable, I suppose. We, we, we look at that inside line of Owen Cleary, David Tubbledy, and Keelan Sexton. Each of them have had a 50 50 situation with the, with the Kerry defenders, and I know well, it hurts me to say it. The clear men are coming out on top at the moment, four anyway. Five bars gone in, so I mean, you know, we're only six, six and a half minutes gone. No food for thought. This for a 3 0 lead, and this is Owen Cleary to take this one. From the ground, he's dead straight in front of the post, he's just outside the D. It should be three points to clear, no score yet to carry, and we'll have seven minutes gone by the time he has put this one either over or wide. You would imagine that he'd put it over. Here he comes, dead straight in front of the post. And Owen Cleary with the left peg, slots it over the bar. Clear three points, Kerry no score, seven minutes gone. Yeah, I think we need to get we need to get a hold on the middle of the field now, you know. We, we need to get a couple of, we need to get a score. That's the first we need to know. Just get a score, you know. Winner on the middle of the field. We're, we're being dominated and, and bullied, if you like, in a way by Clare. Brian Kelly's kick out again. Barry beaten, but Michael Ganey moves into the middle of the field for the kill and grabs position and is fouled. Michael Ganey releases Paul Murphy over the far side of the field. The sun trying to break through. The clouds were still very misty here in Cusick Park. This is Kevin McCarthy on the 45. Gives it inside to Michael Ganey again. Outside him, he's got Anthony Maher. Anthony Maher looks up, see who's there to support him. Uh, Michael, Kevin McCarthy was one, but he decides to go to his left hand side. This is Paul Murphy up here now. The referee's advantage has given James O'Donoghue but now the advantage is gone and O'Donoghue tries to round his man and he has gone inside still James O'Donoghue holding on to it too long and a free out over travelling says the referee yeah we've made a poor start you know, there's only in nearly 8 minutes gone but that, that was poor I mean you, you win a ball and play there you put your head down and go straight for goal you know, not the turning and twisting that James is doing there I have to be a lot more positive I think in our attack when we get, when we get the ball attacking we got to be a lot more positive one from Tyke Morley he's got a hand in there on Shawnee Collins but the ball is spilled back to Pierce Lillis Pierce Lillis he's the number four Five, even though he's playing at left half back for Clare at the moment. This is now Tuberty. Tuberty got way out, 70 yards out from goal. He's two points from play, got in seven minutes off Mark Griffin. This is played back to Kevin Harnett. Kevin Harnett now gives it into the middle. Is that Martin McMahon? I think coming up once again it is. McMahon into space. The runner is on Cleary. With him is Shane Inright. Cleary will go down. Fair shoulder by Paul Ganey, who's away back there. It'll tell you, Kerry are really doing great work, great, but they've lost their shape completely. This is Shane Brennan. He's the brother of, of Gary. This now is on Cleary. Owen Cleary, this is the um, Gary Brennan again, having a cut from a tight angle, and that's gone right and wide, not far off it though. Yeah, we're lucky enough because Clare have kicked a few bad wides as well, that actually it is one way traffic at the moment, Kelly need to settle. I think it's evidence, 
evidence to see so far, Ambrose, that it's, it's nine or ten weeks since Kerry have had a game. And you could see it that they are. They're actually ring rusty. You'd have to stay clear, hitting the ground, bounce, clear and bouncy off the ground here at the moment. I mean, you know, I see Tyg Moore is going to wing back now and they've, and they've put Peter Crowley centre. I'd be for the opposite. I'd go, I'd put Tyg back in his position and I'd put Peter on the wing. I think he gives you more from wing back and Tyg also gives you more from centre back because right now clear attack is up the middle and they're, they're doing it to great effect. Now the linesman on the far side is whispering something into the ear of the referee and the referee is going in and he's having a chat with Keelan Sexton and is he calling Fionn Fitzgerald as well? In fact now he's going in to have a chat with his umpires. So the first piece of information came from the linesman on the far side. I could see him speaking into his microphone. Referee has now gone in to have a chat with his umpires and what the end decision will be for this I don't know I didn't say anything off the ball Ambrose maybe no I it? didn't either I said he's, he's coming out further and he's talking to Fionn and, and, and Keelan Sexton but he's going further he's wagging the finger yeah. at a lot of them anyway That's no right. cards no nothing Brian Kelly with the kick out nine and a half gone three points to nil clear lead another break gone the way of clear in the middle of the field Shane Brennan the stats man so far Ambrose will say 90% of midfield won oh, by Clare yeah, they're winning everything around the middle of the field you have to say Gary Brennan Cahill O'Connell and more worryingly for me is they pick you up breaks well in that half hour line you know, Fitz did well. the breaks. John Fitz got a toe in there to Paul Murphy to Jack Barry and this now is Anthony Maher Anthony to space for Kevin McCarthy Kevin gathers it on the overlap is Crowley now good run by Peter Crowley approaching the 45 gone inside it's still Peter Crowley he's still going Crowley Crowley with a chance he's still going still Peter Crowley made a great run advantage is given it will be free for circle over the bar Paul Keeney with the kick and Paul Ganey with the point after ten and a half minutes Kerry's first score of the game and Paul Ganey is the man that got it yeah but credit Peter Crowley with a fantastic run that's what our, our forward should be doing particularly our half forward line that was a great run he took that ball 50-60 yards looked up done the sensible thing gave the ball to Paul Ganey made sure of the score first score for Kerry 10 minutes 48 seconds gone yeah just needed it and there's a booking inside now as well I think the clear cornerback is being booked man marking James I don't know yes the referee certainly has the notebook out for is it James or Jenner and his man? Or is there one card? Let's see. One. One. Two. two. So two more booked. So Kerry's two corner forwards are now booked. James O'Donoghue and Barry John Kane have both got a yellow card and we're only gone eleven minutes into the game. Just remember as well, Gary, we are playing whatever breeze is here. We are playing with it and clear it yeah. very, very well at the moment. Dean Ryan is the man that's got the other cards, the cornerback. The kick out again out to the middle. Anthony Maher will go high, breaking it down to himself. Did he scoop it off the ground? He did. Scooped off the ground by the Dua man and for not giving the ball back. The referee has gone up about 20, 25 yards and he's penalised Maher for not giving the ball back quick enough. I don't think he had any complaints about that. He did scoop it up off the ground. Johnny Collins to take this free and takes it back to Gary Brennan. Gary Brennan towering man real 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 brilliant footballer I tell you if this man was with any other county in Ireland he was he's an automatic in the middle of the field Fionn Fitz is inside under it but beaten pretty easily physically Fionn Fitzgerald it's a kick but a poor one by Keelan Sexton and this high ball and most of this Kerry full back you, line they yeah. are not looking confident and we're lucky enough Gary with all due respects to Clare I, I, I said that, that for everyone they'll score they have about four chances because they've missed an awful lot of easy chances there particularly inside that inside line Shane in right now Attacking very much. Shane giving it inside to McCarthy. McCarthy falls, plays it back to Dunica Walsh from Cremont. Dunica swung and referee gives him the advantage, gets away from two tackles, but now pulled to the ground by Keelan Sexton and a well won free there by Dunica Walsh. Yes, indeed. Good win as well by, by, by Kevin McCarthy. You know, he's settling into the game, but you're dead right, you know. We, we're slightly off the pace, and for you, you're not the way out of football, you know, for nine or ten weeks, and Clare have the recent game with them, and it is showing early on. The one thing I will say about Clare, though, to their credit, they are there fit and they're playing football. There is no, they're adopting no negative tactic. No, they're putting players behind the ball, but they're attacking it with numbers as well. So I would have to say, so far, it's a very good game. A lot better than what we saw last night, anyway, in, in RT2. Yeah. Right. Gone down injured there momentarily was Kieran Russell. And it will be a free to carry in. James O'Donoghue who will take this with the left peg. About 25, 30 yards in from the sideline. And he's about, what, nearly the same distance out from the goal. Went to his back, but it is a little bit of a cross-field breeze. But at the same time, it's favouring Kerry in the first half. And this to make it three points to two. 13 minutes and 13 seconds gone here in Cusick Park in Innes. Good start by the home side. Remember, they have that game under their belt against Limerick. When it took a late, late winner for them. But they did hold out for that win and O'Donoghue has knelt it that's a good kick by James O'Donoghue one point now between the sides yes indeed 40 yards out kind of 20 yards in from the line put a great ball over the bar good score from James just with the doctor hauled it and Kerry will want a lot more of this 
Well, the kick out now. There's a lot of pulling and dragging, and Kevin McCarthy and his man are at it, and the referee goes in to wag the t- the, the finger at them as, as well. And so too Russell, who has recovered, and Dunica Walsh. The kick out yet to come from Joe Hayes, the Garda. Joe to take this. The Lissy Casey man drives it out to his right hand side. Now let's see who will rise for this one. Maher rises when Brennan breaks it. This time the break is won by Peter Crowley. The Lone Rangers man wins it over in the far side. Calling for it is Rathmore's Paul Murphy. Still Crowley now, doing well. Crowley gives it to Kevin McCarthy, who's gone very deep for a 40 yards man. That's the tactic they're using. Into space it goes for Ganey. Is the ball going to win the race? No. Ganey slides on the ground and keeps it in. Lovely, lovely football by Ganey. Has he measured it? He hasn't. It's right and wide. It was probably was a ball to play out rather than go for the yeah, score. And- James had made a great run outside him. He should have given the ball out. It was a good ball in by Kevin initially. But yeah, you're dead right. We need to be mappy up this. But for the listeners at home, you know, there's, there's 14, 14 and a half minutes gone. We're playing with a fairly stiff enough breeze and it's three points to two in favour of Clare. Kick out from Joe Hayes again to a congested midfield. Again, Maher tries to break it, but the break on the way of Carl O'Connor. Carl O'Connor. Carl leaves it free, given to Clare. Jamie Malone had the ball, but the referee said it is a free. No advantage this time. And another finger wagging to Anthony Maher. He's he's on walking and tinder hooks there, I'd say, at the moment. This is Kieran Russell. Kieran Russell, number 26, starting the game ahead of John Hayes. This is Shawnee Collins. Sean Collins from Cratlow. Out now it goes to Pierce Lillis. Just gone past midfield, Pierce Lillis. Into space it goes again. And again, the carry full back line beaten for every ball to the sprint. It's gathered here by Keelan Sexton. Will he try and round uh, Fionn Fitzgerald? Well, he'll try. Fitzgerald pushing him out all the time. This is Pierce Lillis again. Very dominant from wing back, Pierce Lillis. He's got an awful lot of ball in the first 15 minutes. Falls to the ground. Didn't touch it. Carry Brennan again. Using his physique. He's a huge man. Brennan going through. The crowd rise him. Taking on Maher. Maher hanging off him. Brennan into the middle to Sexton. Sexton. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a penalty without a question of doubt to clear. Tonica Walsh was the man that pulled him down. Keelan Sexton. Penalty kick to clear. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I, I, this this is inexplicable to me. We're playing with a breeze and we're putting Tonica Walsh, who's a wing forward, back inside an old hat back. And he would, no, I know fell enough. He was covering Keelan Sexton, who had made a good run and he'd lost totally last John Fitzgerald but that's a well worked penalty and I mean what for the life of me they're, they're persisting with Anthony Mahal marking Gary O'Connor and it's not working so go to no. plan B or plan C whatever the plans they have because right now if this keeps going the way it's going they're, they're, they're dominant in and the another field. thing Ambrose they have to address is Pierce Lillis here at number 5 is getting the world of ball off Michael Ganey he not, is and we're not, questioning his, his knees have at least he's, he's going too far off. back you know because he's bringing him up the field yeah, we're anyway. the team that's playing against the breeze because we're bringing all our players back playing a two man yellow forward. card for Dunica Walsh Three carry forwards booked. Penalty to come from David Tuberty. And now Sexton and Mark Griffin are exchanging early Christmas presents. And now the referee goes out to them. Three carry forwards booked in 15 minutes. Barry John Keane, James O'Donoghue, who now Danica Walsh. The penalty to come from David Tuberty. Almost 17 minutes gone. Clearly three points to two. Versus Brian Kelly as the miss begins to fall once again. Here he comes with a kick. And a goal! He's buried it into the back of the net. David Tuberty. And that possibly, Ambrose, reflects the dominance they have. They deserve a 1-3 to 2 points lead. Definitely, because they've kicked an after a few through very bad wides as well. They're well worth their lead in fairness to them. Against the breeze, Mike, we had. And it's rainy again. And I would, I definitely think oh, that the Kelly Johnny Collins is making moves. Shawnee Collins nearly. And again, we're beaten in midfield. Shawnee Collins nearly took the togs off Tyke Morley. And Liam Hassett absolutely uh, <laughs> took strips out of the linesman. And this linesman either, he's not communicating right with the referee, but he's he's ignored two carry uh, attacks now on, on, on both Kerry men. But we're continuing with the big Kerry in massive trouble in the middle of the field. They've huge trouble there. It's evident to see how much of a loss David Morton is now. Clear running at us again. And Clare are really, really running at us. And this is another point. And Kerry at this early stage are in a little bit of trouble. Jamie Malone has made it 1-4 to 2 points, Ambrose. Yeah, they're all over us. And as you say, we're definitely in big trouble in our half hour line. Big trouble in midfield. And we want to start making moves and making very quickly. You watch Kevin McCarthy. We're playing with the breeze. Kevin wins this ball. Great yeah. ball. It's oh. a Walsh, but too high. Ambrose, I don't know. You're looking at football a long, longer than I am. But our half forward line are playing into their lap. None we're away back the field. Exactly. We're what playing are we doing with the wind. We're like a team that's playing against the breeze. You're perfectly right. I mean, and our forward movement is poor when we, when we are attacking. Barry John has got it by fluke, but he has it anyway. It came off the top of Gordon Carroll's Barry, Barry, Gordon Kelly. Barry John with a hit and hope effort. Very high gathered inside. Is that there, Paul Ganey fighting for it inside? There it is, but he's being beaten, physically beaten by Kevin Harnett. 
There's no good Kerry man winning his own individual no, battles so no, far. Definitely not. 1 to 15. You'll have to stay clear well ahead. Watch Peter Lillis again. is building from the half back line. Gives it to Gary Connor. And again, we're off again. Kevin McCarthy is after Connor. Cahal O'Connor. Or sorry, Jack Barry was after him. Cahal O'Connor. Cahal into space again. Fionn Fitzgerald cut out. Fionn Fitzgerald was ball watching. Keelan Sexton going through again. 1 4 to 2 points. Keelan Sexton from a tight angle. It should be the goalkeepers. That is Brian Kelly. There's oh, only and he troubled you, you know, the man here inside him was loose, and he never saw him move. Well, there's, you can tell our listeners, Ambrose, who's shoulder to shoulder with me here inside in this press box. <laughs> you have to chill them, Mikey G. I think I hope they're making moves, I hope they're in contact with their line, because we need to make moves, and we need to make them fairly yes. lively. Morris and Mikey are just, there's only a glass separating me and them, because if they're watching the game I'm watching, we've got trouble, a lot of, the, all over the pitch. Particularly in midfield, Parry John Kane has won a very welcome free from just inside the D. One of the player, player players uh, has been called ashore by Parry Hughes. But we have big problems, Ambrose, in the middle. We have indeed, and I mean, you know, I, we were talking yesterday, I was having Billy about our strong bench. I'd start using it now, and there's not a panic station. There's 19 minutes, 35 seconds gone, and the scoreline shows 142 points. We might get three. Well, James, I don't know who should pop this one over, I would think, from dead straight in front of the post. The Kerry management aren't uh, going to make any switch yet. Uh, Eamon Fitzmaurice watching it with the baseball cap on today to protect him from the rain. Uh, James, I don't know who has slotted that one over. One, four to three points as the rain begins to fall very heavily now here in Clare. Yeah, three points, Gally, two from freeze. So, I mean, that's, that's yeah. a very bad, that's bad payback with 20 minutes gone playing with the breeze. And this is a fairly stiff enough breeze, might I add. Liam Hassett again down with Fitzmaurice, whispering something into his ear, but no changes yet in personnel or positional. The only positional change I see is Peter Crowley and Tyke Morley is the only change. Far side of the field, and again, well, this time Dunica was under it. Kerry were beaten from the kick out, but Dunica was under it, and Dunica wins a free, and he quickly takes it now to Paul Murphy's. Kevin McCarthy, it is rather. Kevin, good ball now. That's a very good one to Paul Ganey. Two of them around him. Still Ganey. Ah, oh, take it out of it. There was um, McCarthy. One second now, this is Mikey the man Ganey, this is Lillis, and our linesman is still lying here with a flag hanging down by his side like a man that's after suffering a stroke, but fair play to the referee, he caught this. What action will he take on Lillis, because that was a bad tackle enough on Mike Ganey now. That's the second time we've, uh, we've seen this happen now. This is not Lillis at all, I'm sorry to tell you, it's Martin McMahon. It was Lillis took him out in Gary. Or is it Dean Ryan? If it's Dean Ryan, he's already in the yellow. No, it's Martin McMahon. It's the number four. Yeah, number four, Martin McMahon is the man he's called... So he'll get a yellow here for this one. Might even get a black, actually. He took him out of it, really, he didn't he? took him out of it, yeah. Colour is? Yellow. yellow. Yes, yeah, number four. Martin McMahon. So, no, Lillis, Lillis might, bring a, he might bring a case against you for, <laughs> for the aiming for incorrectly. Anyway, it's another free in for uh, James Ojanaho. One, four to three, just to put the goal between them. And that's what he does. Slowly but surely, Kerry are coming back into it. Three points there from James O'Donnell, who won four to four points. 21 gone here now. 21 minutes gone. I see it all warming up. The three that going in trees, sessions of trees warming up. But you know, I, I, with, with, I noticed it 21, 22 minutes gone. But I mean, it's still a goal we're playing. Like we said earlier, we are playing with the aid of a very strong breeze. And we're not playing very well. We're depending on the free taking of James O'Donnell to keep us in this match. Kick out now again from Joe Hayes. What a bunched midfield it is. Up goes Jack Barry, staying down is Tyg Morley. Well done, the Temple No Man. Back it goes again to Paul Murphy. Paul gives it to Tyg Morley again. Now he gives it to the roaming Kevin McCarthy. I'm not sure about this roaming though. Two on one, two men on Barry John Kane. Two is not going to, or one is not going to be two. It has to be loose carry men somewhere, but they're not showing for the ball at the moment and coming out with it again is Cahill O'Connor. Cahill plays it back to Ambrose's friend, Pierce Lillis. Back now it goes to Shawnee Collins as a way back in defence. Shawnee Collins releases the fullback Kevin Harnett way over in the far side of the field. Very heavy rain falling here now. And with the way that rain is falling, it's falling in favour of Kerry. But at the moment it's looking like Clare that have the, the elements with them. Shane Brennan is over on the far side. Now Clare finding it difficult to come out of defence. Pierce Lillis again. Pierce gives it into the middle to Shane Brennan. Shane Brennan on the overlap now here. This is good work by Clare. Long, high, dangerous ball inside. Brian Kelly's going to come out for this one. And Brian does get two fists to it. Does well. Michael Ganey is back there. Michael falls, but has found Shane Inright. And Shane Inright releases Anthony Maher. Good ball to Dunica. Dunica Walsh. Into space it goes to James O'Donoghue. Beaten though. Trying to get inside Kevin Harnett. Does. 
Harlot pulling at him. Still James O'Donoghue isolated in the far side of the field. Pierce Lillis in there as well. Gary John Key now coming to help him. Barry John dips the shoulder and has won another free. That's two good frees won by Barry John. He is, and he'll have to say he's lively and he's industrious inside that full forward line. But one thing that, 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 I, that I'm looking at here, I'm watching Kerry, we're playing with the breeze. Our forward play is kind of non existent. It is kind of every man got you know, God go with us and we will all do our own thing. There's actually no set pattern. <coughs> no, I thought it would have to play two men for foul and put the ball in. It's not happening. Our forwards are going back. Thunuk is going back deep. Michael Gain is going back deep. Kevin McCarthy is going back deep. We as such are not playing a half forward line. And it's to our detriment because, I mean, we're depending on freeze to keep us in it. Of the three you mentioned, the half hour line, it is Dunnick that is doing the best when he does go back. Well, yeah, but no, I wouldn't be far. But it would win to your back. I, yeah. I'd be pushing up and. Paul Ganey with the free. Game. Paul Ganey has raised another white flag. It's his first free. Kerry have cut the gap to two. One, four to five points. There are uh, 11 to go to half time. Yeah, we were, we were talking about our, our, our neighbours, Cockrick, last night, but we've only one point kick from play in, in 25 minutes with, with a win to our backs. Quick kick out to Pierce Lillis. Getting there ahead of Michael Ganey. Oh, Ganey's robbed him in the corner forward position. That's poor by Lillis. Ganey going through. Still Michael Ganey fouled and pulled and dragged and pushed to the ground. What was Pierce Lillis thinking of in the corner flag? We've had a bit about the first time, Gary. He's going to get a card this time, surely. <laughs> Well, is he going booking the corner back again? The full corner back is getting off of doing from this stuff for you. No car to Pierce Lillis. But a definite 14 yard free to Kerry and to James O'Donoghue. And this will cut it to one. And James slots it over the bar. Now we've weathered that storm, Ambrose, anyway. We have indeed. But, you know, I, I, I'd like to see us raise a green flag before, before the, the, the end of this first half. We're still not playing well. We're depending on freeze. Now we'll come into it a little bit more. A particular half hour, I know we'll have to, you know, kind of stay back for the right thing. If we push up on these for us, we can cause problems. And that's how we, you know, we told them the last time. We attacked them high up the pitch. <coughs> Quick kick out again to Martin McMahon. He's on a yellow from the first half here. McMahon fouled this time by Michael Ganey on the way out. The referee again going for the notebook. He's probably noting. Yeah, no card for, for Ganey. Right, free. Yeah, the referee says back you go. And Martin McMahon. Uh, to take this free let's check the watch 25 nearly 26 minutes gone here in the first half and the scoreboard tells us 1-4 to clear 6 points to carry the goal from the penalty from David Tuberty flying up the wing here now is Kieran Russell number 26 Kieran Russell no ball inside again should be Mark Griffin's and it is Mark Griffin got a right clap on the head when he was going down for him but he's coming out doing well Mark Griffin coming out with this ball playing it back now to Jack Barry who gives it to Dunica Walsh who's at the right corner back position now Shane Inright he gives it to Paul Murphy and a quick release to Kevin McCarthy Anthony Maher on his shoulder Anthony Maher looks up at the outside of the right boot Anthony Maher great ball inside into James Odenhoe this for a point surely Yes! Uh, now, goal. that's the carry that we know. Yes, indeed. And that was all with one touch football, three kicks. Great ball in. One from our half. Forward by Kevin McCarthy. Threaten to James. James took his man on. That's the kind of football we want. One touch football. Push it high up the pitch. That's what we need to be playing this game. Sides are level one, four to seven points now. Best score of the game. And it has taken 26, nearly 27 minutes for Kerry to get it. But very quick hands by all the Kerry defenders. Least it out to Anthony Maher. He split the defence with the pass and James O'Donoghue did the rest. Maher beaten for the kick out. Possessions with a Kerry man over there. He's surrounded. I'm not sure who it is. It's Tyg Morley. Tyg has been penalised for touching it on the ground. Kerry harsh, or the ref harsh enough on Kerry. Winning this sprint is Keelan Sexton. He touched it on the ground. But at least you're consistent to their party cues. Free out now to Kerry. Bring it forward as well. The ball not being released. He's bringing it forward to 10 yards. Put it into our full forward line now, lads. I want to say uh, Paul Murphy to take this one. Uh, Paul Murphy gives it to Jack Barry. Jack Barry gives it to James O'Donoghue. James O'Donoghue now outside the D. Nice ball to Tyg Morley. He's in the zone. His shooting chance for the Temple No Man. Tyg Morley has missed it. Pulls it left and wide. That's only the second wide, I think, of the first half for Kerry. It's all, yeah. Actually, I would have hit a lot more wide than this. But it's still, the, the, the idea is good. We've actually pushed up the pitch now. We're playing clear. We're doing what we do. We've been doing earlier on to clear. We're playing them high up on their half of the pitch. And that's what we need to do. Because, as I said, the wind is to our back. And we will cause problems. When we went direct to clear last year, and we go direct to there, we are causing problems inside. I want to wish Bert I wish this to Mick O'Dwyer who's um, celebrating his birthday this weekend and I'm told today is the birthday of the great Ambrose O'Donovan <laughs> good man Gary come on with the matches I know we keep going with the matches where's the party tonight we'll have a 
We'll have a bit. Of, we have a bit of cake in the, in the car, Ambrose. I, t- I forgot to tell you that, but I couldn't find any candles. But we'll, ha- we'll rectify that coming back anyway. Here comes uh, Shane Inright and his man. His man is Sexton. He might have scooped it off the ground, but the referee gave him the benefit of the doubt and said you didn't. So Sean Collins has won a free for Kerry, or for or for Clare rather. Sean Collins, 28 gone. Sides level pegging here. One four to seven points. Clare will be certainly much happier with this first half, Ambrose, won't they? They will indeed. Yeah, they will indeed. But you know, the one thing I say, you 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 you'd have to say to them, everything has gone right for them. Like they know they kicked a few bad wides, but they dominated midfield. You know, and they hit and went in. They were got a penalty. Oh, that's a high challenge by James. Or do you know who he'll be lucky if he doesn't get a card for that now? Fourth Kerry player that's tackling high. I can't understand for the life of me. And he's on a yellow. I yeah. hope that the referee does not take action when this is over, because if he does, and if James or do you know who gets a yellow? he's got a second one now he's on the ball over he might ignore it Paul Hughes. we hope he does and forgets about it Kevin McCarthy giving inside now to Michael Ganey Michael Ganey now high ball inside looking for him oh Paul Ganey inside there but it's gone it's gone wide now will Hughes take notice of this Ambrose if he does James O'Donnell is in trouble I don't think he will no he's alright I'd say he's, he's getting on with it the one thing I will say you know whether it is a cousin thing or not every time Mike Ganey looks up he's looking for Paul there was a, Kevin McCarthy was on his shoulder there now slipped a simple ball I know it's a good ball to give in straight direct but you must also look for the man in the better position and that's the old one we were always taught you know give the ball to the man in the better position and that's certainly one that Paul wasn't in the best position that time Mike could have slipped the pass <coughs> to Kevin McCarthy and there was a scoring opportunity as well 1-4 to 7 points the sides level here in Cusick Park and Ennis Parry Cuse is going in to separate a whole cluster of players both Clare and Kerry Barry John Kane, Donica Walsh are the two Kerry men anyway but they're not the aggressors because there were two Clare men at it as well but anyway Parry Cuse has found peace somewhere the kick out to come from Joe Hayes Joe Hayes now driving this one out to his right hand side Kerry come in more I suppose around the midfield area Ambrose in the last 10 or 15 minutes in fairness haven't they? Because we're punching that yeah. we're, we're playing high up the pitch now what we should have done from day one we're actually doing it now we're playing clear high up the pitch and we're not giving him a chance to come out of defence Michael Ganey gives it to Paul Murphy Paul Murphy to Fionn Fitzgerald Fionn Fitzgerald takes his eye off it but gets a toe poke into to Anthony Maher Anthony Maher not left go pulled definitely pulled by Cahill O'Connor free to Anthony Maher now, will he call or leave it for James O'Donnell to take it? He's about 60 yards out from goal. Anthony Maher into space. The runner is Tyke Morley, but Maher gave it straight into a cleared man's hand. I don't think the pass was ever on from the start. No. Martin McMahon fouled on the way out. And Kevin McCarthy is going into the referee's notebook. If this is a yellow, Ambrose, it'll be the fourth yellow card for Kerry forwards in this first half. And it is a yellow. That's not good reading. No, no, no. We've too many forwards on yellow cards now because, like you said, it's that type of game, you know, it's that type of day. If conditions are poor, there's a heavy miss falling, you know, and strong wind. You're going to slip and you're going to. But we're tackling very high, which is very unusual for us. You won't get away with tackling on the neck, Gary. That's a, a yellow oh, card. Oh, 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 Cahal O'Connor inside to David Tuberty. He left it after him, and Mark Griffin had it. And now Finn Fitzgerald and the referee says, Go back, you go. It was touched on the ground by the clear man, and it's a free out. Fionn Fitzgerald to take it, 31 and a half minutes gone, One four to clear, 7 points to carry, little or nothing between the sides, I suppose for the amount of um, possession that Clare have had, they are the better side, but Kerry are creeping their way back into it, Dunica Walsh is really nasty day here now, weather wise, this is Anthony Maher, Anthony into space, it goes James O'Donoghue looking up into the clouds and gathers it well, it holds on to it, and James O'Donoghue trying to get inside Ian Ryan, he's got inside him, James O'Donoghue across the face of the goal, here's a chance for Dunica Walsh, he's blocked, Nothing wrong with that. Back out it goes to Barry John Kane and nothing wrong with that as well. And the Clare defenders stood up to two carry attacks and they've cleared their lines. I have indeed. That was a great goal chance. I think James was trying to make sure we can put a floor to the ball in for Paul Ganey. Paul couldn't get to it. You'll have to give credit to the Clare defence to handle it well on both occasions. Barry John got a chance as well. And I'm dispossessed and clear to come out of it. But I think we're doing the right tactic though. We're pushing Clare high up the pitch and that finds it very difficult to clear their lines. Now, Dunica Walsh this time put in a tackle on Martin McMahon. And remember, four carry forwards are on yellow cards. And Dunica Walsh is one of the four. Parry Hughes has got out to his linesman. I didn't think there was much in it, to be fair, though. No. He pulled on the ball, Ambrose. It was there to be one for my liking anyway. One, yeah. I you don't must, know. You must give conditions as well. I mean, it is a wet, yeah. slippy day. I mean, you can't be... We're not playing a, a, a real sunny day in perfect conditions. Yeah. Go the foot conditions are very, very slippy. Oh, can't no, be. no, no. Dunnick has gone. Second yellow. Dunnick has gone. I think that's a harsh yellow. 
he was there to be one he pulled on it Dunica Walsh has been sent off the Kerry team for a second yellow oh, that's not what we wanted Ambrose no 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 but I mean for me you know you almost, like you said earlier, we've four players on yellow cards. We've got to start working. We're talking about this bench we have. I mean, start using our bench before we get players sent off. Carrier down to 14 men. Dunica Walsh gone. And of course, he can't be replaced. The black card man can, but not two yellows. Dunica, unfortunately, is down here in front of us. He's only a couple of seats away from us. I think it was a half second yellow. I don't care what line's been told to umpire. You're right, you have to allow for conditions. The ball was there to be won. He pulled on it. And to me, the clearman made the most of it. Oh, he did. I would have to say, and I'm watching the, 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 this outfit here, you know, the linesman here in particular. He's constantly holding this thing up to his earpiece, but they're making no action. And Martin McMahon is the man that went down. He's recovered fairly quickly. Anthony Maher's been pulled and dragged off the ball as well. There's a lot happening now. Now the uh, officials are getting harassment from the, the stand and the supporters on both sides going back to save the day for Kerry there Kevin McCarthy breaking two tackles now gives it to Michael Ganey outside to his right is Shane in right on his own but he goes up the middle for Jack Barry Jack Barry trying to break two tackles fouled by Russell Kieran Russell and uh, a free into Kerry but we're still about 70 yards out from goal and it's Michael Ganey that takes it to Jack Barry clear now with an extra man who is that extra man are they going to use it will they use him Pierce Lillis I think was the extra man this is a uh, Barry, or that's Peter Crowley. Peter Crowley now to Anthony Maher. Carry about 40 yards out from goal. Now you can, there's a 50 out because Anthony Maher's pass was a good 10 or 15 min, uh, yards backwards. Here now is the 40 yards man, Kevin McCarthy, again to Michael Ganey. Coming near Michael Ganey is Paul Murphy. Paul Murphy, it's keep football. It's kind of box football for Kerry at the moment. They're not making any hit ground, but they're holding on to position as yeah, well. Jack Barry. No, this is no attempt at all. Kind of this kind of football. Tippy over and back. I mean, playing with a breach your back. Let's be putting a ball in where we can score. Not 60 yards out, over and back like yo-yos. McCarthy gives it now to Peter Crowley. Taking the tackle again. Crowley releases it to Tyke Morley. Tyke Morley plays it back. Still, no Kerry player having the confidence to shoot. And Anthony Maher has it. Holding on to it. He'll need to get rid of it, surrounded, it's a free in. He was lucky enough to get it. Very lucky. And I said, I was down to the red card. But I mean, our forward play is poor. When you're kicking the ball over and back, three or four times over and back, passing, you try to go forward, you'll breeze to your back, put the ball in, go in early. Just passing over and back is no good to you. Now, if that was, a free, if that was a free given to a clear man, we'd say he was lucky enough to get it. And now for something said by the clear guys, oh, it's brought into the 14-yard line. So it'll be an easy tip over free for Kerry. Two and we have two minutes of additional time. When we were actually 40, uh, 35, 48 on the clock here, this is a scoreable free. This put us into the lead. First time today, is it? We probably don't deserve to be in the lead. Not, no, not in the way we're playing. Our, our forward play is poor enough now today, I would have to say. We're poor in a lot of positions. You'd have to say, clear, they're going to win, hitting this ground bounce in half time. Paul Ganey slots it over the bar. <coughs> That's uh, Paul's second free and one from play. But still the stat looks out there, Ambrose. What, 36 minutes gone, two points from play for Kerry. Yeah, you'd have to say, and, and we're depending on Freeze to keep us in it. Now, we pushed up higher up the pitch, all right, and it worked for us a little bit. But then we'll be the man sent off. We started over and back across with, with playing as well. You'd have to give Clare credit. To not the one thing about them is they've kept to a game plan, and they're playing well, and they're fit. They'll keep running, whether they can keep it up or not for 17 minutes is another thing. Yes. But you'd have to say at the moment against the strong breeze, they're full of running. This is the fullback, Kevin Harnett. We'll play to 37. We're on. We've a minute now to go. One point lead for Kerry. Clare will be happy enough with this one. This is McMahon. Nice ball to Carlo. Carlo released now. Kerry are opened up. Open country in front for Dean Ryan from corner back for Clare. There surely has to be a score at the end of this one. There's nobody on him. He now gives it inside to David Tuberty. David Tuberty gives it inside to Keelan Sexton. They'll be very disappointed if they don't get a score from this one. But Jamie Malone has lost position, but Clare have it again. They're in the, the zone for the shooting. Just inside the D. Shawnee Collins. Loose run outside to his right hand side. That's Russell. That's Kieran Russell high and over the bar and we're level again. He's number 26, Kieran Russell. But Kerry again opened up alarmingly. Yeah, you know, we're on the break. That's what's, that's what's bothering me. Every time Claire hit us on the break, it opens up like the Red Sea. Half time, Claire will be very, very happy. One, five, two, eight points. You'd have to say, well worked, Claire. Well worked. We are not playing well. Not by a long shot. Claire have adapted the conditions, I would say, better than us. And as you quite rightly said, we know we have one forward sent off, but we've three more on yellow cards. So, I mean, we've got this time to start looking at our bench. So, and much is, more is it positional changes or personal changes that's needed now from Eamon Fitzmaurice? Personnel for me, anyway, I'll be honest with you. I definitely think we need a move in midfield, we need a freshen up midfield. We definitely would, you know something? It's a game that would shoot the star. Bring him in, you know, put him inside, you know, between the half hour line and full hour line. 
put him in, give, give yourself a target. But what did two suit him against the wind? That's the question. Yeah, you would have to. I'd play him. I'd be honest with you. We need, we need big, we need big men here. We need big men with big hats, clear and full of passion going in. Yeah. This is a tall order for Kelly in the second half. Like I said, this is a strong wind. Conditions are bad, but I mean the wind is to clear back, and they have, you, they're well worth that. You know, they're, they're eight points at half time. They played good for and kick, good scores, as well as missing a few as well in the yeah. and, and, and uh, 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 for the half. Well, the rain begins to fall very heavily again. Half time whistle here gone in Cusick Park in Ennis, and it is not one way traffic at all at all. Clear. Certainly the better of the teams in the first half, but the sides go in level at the break. The halftime uh, score here in the Munster semi-final is clear. 1-5 to Kerry's 8 points. Uh, the thoughts of Billy O'Shea coming up for the moment. It's back to the studio in Tralee. Fourteen, fifteen. Did it? Uh, trying to see who's in there. Fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that's... Okay, lads, substitution on the Kerry team. 22, Stephen O'Brien for 13, Barry John Keane. Second half underway here in Cuba. Second half is underway, and straight away it's uh, Gary Brennan that gathers the ball for clear. And Gary Brennan, a big, towering man, runs at us. Oh, Anthony Maher tripped him for no reason whatsoever. No, Ambrose, uh, that's a black card. It is a course. But I mean, you know, I After mean, 10 manage seconds. management must come down to something. We started the same midfield pairing in the second half. What did we think was going to change from the first 35 minutes that we'd watched? You'd be very lucky here now if it's in the black card. And the way he's walking away from him, he must know what, what Party Q is saying to him. Yellow. Yellow, he's very lucky. Well, he's a lucky boy. Very Ten lucky. seconds in, Gary Brennan goes through the middle, and Anthony Maher takes him out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he can argue that their legs got tangled, but I don't think they did, to be honest now, but anyway. Yeah, want, yeah, I, I, if I was in the management position, no, I, I know I'd be thinking very seriously, I'd look at Mr Buckley. The lead for Clare, Owen Cleary is the man that's got the first score of the second half after only 50 seconds, not the stat that Kerry wanted. And now another Kerry player booked, that is one, two, three, four, that's the fifth player now. Maher gathers this one. But the referee has penalised the Dua man, or maybe not him, but has penalised the Kerry player for pulling at the jersey. So it's another free into Clare, just outside the 45 yard line. And are they calling out Owen Cleary again? Yes, I think they are. And he's having a chat with Cahill O'Connor. Just about 40, 49, 50 yards out, we'll say, dead straight in front of the post. And the linesman now is telling him to go back, so... He went back all of two yards. Yeah, that, that made a whopping difference, no, didn't it? That savage difference article. <laughs> well, the cut him a cut here below the flag. Uh, no, more importantly for Kelly, this now number nine for, for, for Claire Cahalo O'Connor. Now, this would be some free for him. He's at least 50 yards out now, Cahalo O'Connor. Maybe 52, dead straight in front of the post. This for a two point lead for Claire. He connects well with it. It has sailed over the bar with absolute ease. A cracking point. A minute, two minutes, Scott Ambrose, and two points for Clare. Yes, indeed, one, seven to eight points. We want to be very careful now whether this kind of star man, whether it's fairly lively. 
but I certainly would be using my bench. I can assure, I can amaze why we're not bringing on forwards. Brian Kelly with the kick out. Up Anthony Maher will go with Gary Brennan. Anthony Maher breaks it. The ball has gone the way of Paul Murphy. High challenge on him by Sean Collins. I never saw a game, Ambrose, with so many high challenges around yeah, the neck. Definitely. And I, I, you know, I don't mind Claire. I'm not worried about Claire, but I'm about from, from a Kelly perspective. We've not, we've five or six more players that tackling fears higher on the neck. And that's the most dangerous tackle you can have. A, because it's dangerous on the player you're, you're, you're inflicting the, the tackle on. And B, every referee is going to give you a card for it. Now the referee is calling the clear man. And is this going to be a card? It is. Another yellow card, Sean. That's for that high challenge. I think that was administered that time. We keep an eye with it anyway. Paul Murphy takes the free and gets the free back again, Paul. Paul Murphy tried to keep possession to Sean Collins. Ambrose that got that yellow yes, card. indeed, it was Sean. Shawnee Collins, son of the, the manager. Here's Peter Crowley up along the wing. Low ball this time for Paul Ganey. Ganey grabs it on the ground. Still Paul Ganey. Good defending by Clare. Do you know now, Ambrose again. Advantage. I know I'm a Kelly man, but that was a harsh you know, free. It was, but I mean, he's the whole point done. Peter Here's Peter Crowley. Crowley. Crowley going through. Still Peter Crowley. He's roused around. He plays outside to Stephen O'Brien. First touch for the Kinmare man. And it's gone over. That's Stephen cool. O'Brien, good introduction to the match. A point for him after two minutes. You'd have to say, and in, what we're scoring is coming as a result of Peter Crowley attacking up the pitch. And I'm looking at Peter now. He's gone down and he's he's limping a little bit, you know. Yeah, Peter Crowley has gone down. Now he the way he came up the wing this time. Again. Uh, to his credit, he's, he's doing it all day. He's yes. driving Kelly forward. He's the young man, Kelly player we have, that's willing to run at this clear defence. So Stephen O'Brien getting that point just introduced and a minute and a half later he gets a point for Kerry. It's 1-7 now to clear, nine points to Kerry uh, just four minutes into the second half and Peter Crowley is still down injured and Liam Hassett checked on his fellow Lone Rangers man. He came out and whispered something into the ear of Eamon Fitzmaurice but there's no immediate alarm bells ringing in the Kerry camp because they don't say, well, Jonathan Line is all right, gone out warming up, but Crowley's OK. He's a tough boy. It'll take more than that to knock him out of a Munster semi-final. Quickly taking kick out and the referee allows it. Kieran Russell, number 26. He got a point in the first half. This is Pierce Lillis. Plays it back now. This promises to be a cracking next 25, 30 minutes. Will Clare hang on? And will they repeat what they did in 92? Or will the Kingdom advance to a Munster final against Cork? All to play for it in the next 25 minutes. This again now is Cahill O'Connor of Clare. Long ball inside and another trip. Another trip this time by Shane Inwright. I no, hope you won't book that, him because that was accident. That, that was a tangle, yeah. yeah that that was wasn't accident. deliberate. And fair play to the referee, yeah. That, that's, he's taking no action. No, it was a tangle. Yeah. But it was a great quality ball from Lillis. That's the kind of ball you put against the breeze. 50 yards, 4 feet off the ground, chest high, inside, and give the man a great ch chance to win it, you know. And in fairness, clearly he won it well. We've got the free in. Yeah, he's having a word now with Fionn Fitzgerald explain him, but, but credit to Paul Hughes, he didn't take any action against Shane Inner. That, that was a tangle of legs. It wasn't malicious by Ian Wright, but nevertheless, it's a close-in free for Clare, and it's a scoreable one with that. And now, Eamon Fitzmaurice and Parry Corkin. <laughs> I want to ask you another question here now, uh, when this free is taken, because I, I, I'm wondering about this for the last few, few matches, Ambrose, and the last year or so. The Kerry management are extremely separated. Liam right. Hassett is a runner. Parry Corkin is with Fitzmaurice. Mikey and Morris are here next to us. Are there as much? Is there as much communication going on as there should be? I, I know. I'd love to see Morris Fitzgerald down on on, on, on pit side, and indeed Mikey with him as well. well. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is working for them. I'm not sure. Anyway, sport. this is a point by own theory. It's just something I wondered in the past. I know they're all wired up and they're mic'd up, but at the same time, geez, I'd like to go back to the old, to the old days of. Well, I mean, at this stage now, you know, six minutes gone in the second half, one eight to nine points. I'd certainly be introducing, I'd be using my bench. We're all talking about how strong it is and how great this is your strong bench. Brian There's Sheen going is, to be a change. Brian, Brian Sheehan, Sheehan has been called. Not before time, might I add. Brian is only four or five seats away from us. Brian has been called, and I think this is not for a warm-up. This is for introduction. Up goes Jack Barry, losing out again. Peter Crowley. Carries man in the match, all right, without a doubt, so far today. He's done well. Here now is Michael Ganey. Michael holding on. Gone back. Oh, Michael Ganey. What was he thinking of when it's gone out? He's been blocked by Shane Inright, Shane Brennan, and it's a line ball to Kerry, but Michael Ganey was looking to get away with that one. Yeah, some of our players are very slow on the ball. They're very, you know, it's not like championship. It's like a league match more than a championship. Oh, Brian just as well, foul surely, yes, by Kieran Russell, Stephen O'Brien, Jack Barry giving the ball again to O'Brien. Kerry wants to get on with it quickly, and it's inside for Paul Ganey. Oh, can Paul round his man? He can. He's got inside Kevin Harnett. Still Paul Ganey running at him. He'll shoot for the score, and he will get 
the score. Paul Ganey with a very badly needed point for Kerry. It's the second from play. We wanted that one big time. Yeah, and again, Stephen O'Brien is actually making his presence felt at this early stage. He's a real good sub to bring on. He's doing his stuff. Winning ball, give it up. Good quality ball. Took, took a man out of it there as well. You know, when he ran across, ran off the player. Good score. And that's we want more of this. And I think Stephen O'Brien is a definitely good introduction. He has the legs on, 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 on Mr. Russell. 1 8 to clear. 10 points to Kerry. Seven minutes into the second half. High they goes. Peter Crowley get underneath it and gathers it for the kingdom. And Peter working his way out. And uh, pulled and dragged and pushed. And he takes it quickly to Anthony Maher, who's in the middle of the field. Anthony, surrounded by Claire and Kerry jerseys, releases it outside now to Paul Murphy. Paul Murphy, Kerry training by points. 1 8 to 10 points. Early stage of the second half. Low ball inside there. Nothing wrong with that. Tackle, says the referee by Dean Ryan, the right cornerback. And away games comes Martin McMahon. You'd have to say, Ambrose, that this clear defence, uh, they're, they're well marshaled. And uh, they're well disciplined, aren't they? They're giving nothing away. They're, they're very strong on the tackle and they're moving the ball with the wind to great effect. David Tuberty getting ahead of Mark Griffin again. Again, we've got a ball for Keelan Sexton. Sexton inside here for Jimmy Malone. Jimmy Malone the kick. Oh! It's hit the crossbar and it's rattled out into play and in fact it's gone wide. Brian Kelly beating all end up with a rasper off the crossbar. That was a bullet. It was a great move. One touch football. Two kicks and there the ball above the Kelly 21 yard line. A bullet of a shot off the crossbar. Got Bless the crossbar because that had goal written all over it. Well, if that was not a wake up for Kerry for the Monster Championship, there never was one. That was some shot. Brian Kelly knew nothing about it, and I wouldn't blame him either. It was a bullet, and it came straight back, and it went wide in actual fact. Anthony Maher in the middle of the field, holding on to possession for dear life. Still Maher. Uh, now to Michael Ganey. In fact, he's calling the ball back for a free to Maher. And now the referee's note because out again, and he's calling Cahal O'Connor for persistent fouling, I would think. About to come in, uh, Ambrose. Uh, for Kerry is 19 and number 19 is Jack Savage. Savage was that a yellow card shown there I think there was Cahal O'Connor not allowed comes off Mike Mike Ganey I suppose is it Jack Savage he'll go in I would think corner forward position position maybe or maybe not but he's definitely coming in Brian Sheen still doing the warm up but Jack Savage will be in in a moment Leisman's flag is up he's calling ashore Kevin, Kevin McCarthy Kevin McCarthy gone and number 19 Jack Savage coming in well, he led a bit of pace as well to the forward line. Yes, indeed, and Stephen has done it already. And that's what we're saying. We said it earlier about the clear, about the clear defence. Run at them at pace, you're better off. It's, it's, it's far. But as you kick ball in like that 50-50, they are good defenders. But run at them. Here's Peter Crowley again and getting the free from uh, from uh, Paul Gainer, from uh, Michael Ganey. Michael Ganey now with the chance to shoot. He does shoot, and Michael Ganey has put it over the bar. Those empires, I'll tell you, won't beat you, Usain Bolt going for the flag. But anyway, <laughs> Michael Ganey has got his first point of the afternoon. Yes, indeed, and that, that, that brings it back now, 1 9 to 11 points. And for Tony Lawler, a man that listened to us reverently in, in, in a hostelry in Canary Linens with a fork in the radio, Tony, it's 1 9 to 11 points, you're hearing it right. Clear our ladies by one point, and there's 10 minutes gone. And there's another man celebrating a birthday like yourself today, Ambrose and Donovan Kieran O'Shea, son of the great Jacko. His birthday is today. And there's a lady from Carsevina, like I've told her, Salta, she had a large birthday a couple of weeks ago, Sheila O'Connell. She didn't get the letter from the president, but we'll say she got a postcard. So you'll know what the, you'll know what the birthday was. Anthony Maher has it in the middle of the field. Anthony's fouled. The crowd are rising to both Kerry and Clare. Clare are leading by a point. 1-9 to 11 points. Here goes Stephen O'Brien. He releases it nicely now inside to Jack Savage. Jack Savage inside, waiting for the ball to come to him. There was a Kerry man, and that didn't work out. And that was Jack Barry. He looks tired, Ambrose. I think we need change in the middle of the field. I, I do, I, I, I think we do. And you'd have to say, give Anthony Maher credit. You know, with the last 10 minutes, he's come in, but he, you are right. We have two weary, leg weary midfielders at the moment out there. Sprinting back for this one is Shane in right. He's soccer style. Poke it back to Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly has Fionn Fitz, the captain near him. Fionn Fitzgerald's now coming out of the fence. More or less in the centre half back position. Gives it to Tyke Morley. In front of him, he's got Jack Savage. There as well is Peter Crowley turning and uh, finding himself in a lot of space. Every hole, oh, Peter Crowley, the first mistake you made in the day coming out, but there to help him is Tyke Morley. Tyke Morley now coming out again is Savage, is it? That's uh, looking like him inside there. Paul is spilt loose. Ah, oh, loose pass from Fionn Fitzgerald. Lucky again. Chipping it up with Jack Barry. Way goes to the Goyle man. Good run by Jack Barry. His side trailed by a point. Still Jack Barry outside. It goes to James O. James O with the outside. The left foot. James O to the hole. Oh. What a cracking point for Kerry. And a badly needed one of that. Yeah, best point of the game for James O. Great pass. Good run from Jack Barry. Give the ball off to James. James O took the yards out. Side footed. Straight over the net. Great score. Just what the doctor ordered. Level pegging. 12 minutes gone. Well, 
My prediction that the stack was Claire would stick with Kerry for 50 minutes. Now I think it is Kerry that's sticking with Claire with <laughs> for 50 minutes. <laughs> 1 9 to 12. And they're not utilizing the extra man clear. No. They're falling down with the extra man, and we've said that. He's caught between the given the deep blue sea between the half back line and full back line, and the ball is going over him and it's going to pass him. He's not they're not utilizing Gordon the Kelly extra sent the half back on the ball. Now we're level here in Cusick Park. Cork waiting in the final. Loose ball from Gordon Kelly. Peter Crowley again packing it up. Without a doubt, the man of the match for the kingdom this afternoon here in Cusick Park. He's had a whale of a game. Here now is James O'Donoghue in front of him is Stephen O'Brien. Lovely ball. Stephen O'Brien. A chance, O'Brien across, it must be, oh, it's hit the upright, what was Paul Geary at? Stephen O'Brien put it on a plate to him, Paul Geary flicked it in, he should have caught it and drove it home. Of course. Oh, that's should. a diabolical miss from but Paul Geary. Bad, bad miss. Different. This was the, was the hard look, cross bar, that should have goal written all over it. Two carry forwards on the clear goalkeeper and he palms it wide. Dreadful, dreadful miss by Kerry. Well, if there's a word called lexidaisical, that was it. He should have caught it and rammed it home. He went to palm it into the net and he palmed it off the crossbar or he palmed it off the upright. Eamon Fitzmaul has put his head in his hands. I wouldn't blame him. Kieran Russell, in the meantime, has put a wide for clear. That was an absolutely Christmas present yeah, missed. It would have been a great time to ah. score the goal, you know, and put a bit of comfort to us because that, but we are opening him up. The runners are, are paying dividends against the breeze. We are playing better. Here's Mark Griffin. Mark can't handle our, our players, can't handle Mark runners. inside for James O'Donoghue. Still James O'Donoghue getting inside his man. O'Brien to the run. Lovely dummy by James. James has O'Brien inside him. Still James O'Donoghue. He might go for it himself. He does. And from in front of the post, he's put it over the bar. James O'Donoghue with a good point for Kerry. Substitution for Clare. Shane Brennan coming off and number 18 uh, Keen O.G. is coming in but you'd have to say come at the hour come at the man James O'Donoghue who's having a blind in the second half he's running at clear and that's what we said that's what we want the, the Kerry farmers to do when we run at clear at pace we have them in trouble they have the legs our farmers have the legs in them in particular Stephen O'Brien and indeed James they're playing well James is coming good as you well know, going back to that if O'Brien wins himself he might have been as well off I know that look it was it was two against one a goalkeeper against two Kerrymen oh, but he was making sure of it I do what Stephen O'Brien did as well he was making 110% sure of it uh, Paul Hughes catch and kick it into the net an empty net let it be said but he went for Paul Gain he's won the break now around the middle of the field here's Tyke Morley remember clear of the extra man but Kerry now are showing that's touched on the ground when he was fouled first of all Savage good ball to Anthony Maher Anthony Maher in the zone Anthony Maher shoots it Anthony Maher puts it over the bar that's much better now from Kerry 1-8 to a clear 14 points to Kerry but that big difference between us in the first half and Kerry in the second half Kerry are moving the ball at pace with purpose we're running at Claire and Claire can't handle us at the moment. Our players are out running Claire and they're running into trouble and there's a bit of spot of pressure coming on them now. The kick out to come again from Joe Hayes. 15 gone in the second half. And still 15 plus to go. Jack Barry and Brennan Barry with a great catch. Now that's better by the Kingdom. Jack Barry to James O. James O'Donnell is flying in this forward line, Ambrose, today. He's a great target man out, particularly he's, in the second half. Yeah, he's playing very, very good football. He's taking it upon himself. We need a come at the hour, come at the man. We needed a leader, and James has stepped up, as indeed has Peter Crowley. And you'd have to say the switch of, of the Kelly management done very well. Bring on Stephen O'Brien. They've made it, he's made an impact straight away. And now, you know, clear, like we said earlier, how would they handle the extra man? They're not using the extra man. Martin McMahon is the number four. The number five is Pierce Lillis. Just gone past midfield. The watch tells us now 16 minutes gone here in this cracking Munster semi-final. Clare are thinking they're not out of the woods and I think Kerry know that they're not out of the woods yet even though the Kerry are leading 1-8 to 14 points. Here comes uh, the ball spread across the field to Pierce Lillis. Pierce Lillis punches it into space. Gary Brennan now gone into full forward I think and if he is Maher has gone after him is he able to keep this one in? Maher wants a bit of a hand here now. Brennan still holding on to it in the corner flag. Still Gary Brennan. Anthony Maher staying with him. I think Brennan's gone out of it a little bit too, though. The legs seem to be very weary on Gary Brennan. This is Shawnee Collins. Shawnee from Cracklow. Looking up, he's gone way out the field. He must be gone soaring about 45 yards out the field rather than attacking, but it's all to keep uh, possession. Cahal O'Connor. Cahal O'Connor plays the back, ball back. Shawnee Collins looking in. Kerry at the moment of 13 men behind the ball. The only two that's not back there is James O'Donoghue and Paul Caney. The ball is robbed in the middle of the field by the Kingdom and a foul committed on Tyg Morley. Good work by Tyg Morley. Great play by Tyg Morley. And I can tell you one thing, we're like the good race horse. We're looking like we're getting second wind and Kerry are all over the place at the moment. And you'll have to say, clear look, the clear legs look to be tiring. James O'Donoghue again running at Dean Ryan. Dean Ryan is on a yellow. He knows that. James O'Donoghue again running at us. This time with the left. James O'Donoghue. Another cracking point by 
for the Killarney Legion man. Oh, that's fantastic scoring by James. And you talk about man of the match. This man has took it upon himself to bring Kerry out of a dig him out of a big hole and how well he's doing it. And I'm amazed that Claire hadn't moved up here on him because James at the moment is playing ducks and drakes with Mr. Mr. Martin McMahon. McMahon has now found himself as the loose man, I think. The kick out again to the middle of the field. Maher under it. There's a break over there in the far side of the field that looks to be the substitute Keno D that has it for Clare. He has. Johnny Collins now has it. 1-8 to 15 points now. 17 minutes into the second half as the sun thankfully has come and joined us here in Cusy Park and wherever you're listening to us around the world this afternoon. Well, it's been a good Munster final. No advantage given there to Pierce Lillis. I thought maybe the referee should have a par accused as no and back you go for the free and the free is quickly taken and here's Martin and McMahon. Clare need to come again now. They need maybe to get a couple of more points. Definitely need a goal. Stephen O'Brien standing up to his man. Did well. This is Russell 26, Kieran. Gary Brennan or Shane O'Connor. Cahal O'Connor it is rather. Cahal O'Connor outside now to David Tuberty. Haven't seen much of him from the start of the game. This could be a cracker of a point from Tuberty. It is. That's a brilliant kick from David Tuberty. He's got one goal and three points today. Yes, indeed. That was a very, very good score. But it's a credit to Kerry that we've snuffed out. You know, the ball going in. Our midfield have come into it. Our half hours are winning ball. Our half backs are bringing the ball forward. It's a better Kerry performance than we had in the first half. Paul Murphy getting the quick kick out from Brian Kelly. 18 minutes gone now. 1-9 to 15 points. Three between them. Anthony Maher. Much better second half for the Kingdom. Stephen O'Brien. He's certainly put a serious amount of injection that's needed. Still Stephen O'Brien getting away from his man. And he's got away from that man. Still Stephen O'Brien. O'Brien to his left is James O'Donoghue. Three points from play altogether. Still James O'Donoghue going through. Surrounded across the goals of Fionn Fitzgerald. Ball is there. Well out. Paul Ganey. Surrounded. Ganey holding on to it too much. And good discipline again by the clear defence. And coming out there, Ambrose is Dean Ryan. Yeah, but Fionn, you know, for argument's sake, Fionn is a defender. He shouldn't be taking a marker up there. There was two men on Paul Ganey that him in front for himself in there. We want to get Paul Ganey on the ball inside one and one. We need to get James on the ball. Oh, one but one. he's put in the line by Jack Savage. He got the hand in there ahead of Shawnee Collins. Two players falling to the ground over on the far side of the field. Is that looking like Anthony Maher with possession over there? It's not as Jack Barry. Jack Barry, advantage given. And this is Michael Ganey. One point already to his credit today. Michael Ganey plays the ball back again to Jack Barry. And Fionn Fitzgerald over there. Fionn plays it into the middle. More orthodox pass gives it to Anthony Maher. Anthony Maher now gives it uh, to Jack Savage. Looking up again, the current O'Rahilly's man. Jack Savage now. Still playing around with this defence. Free for Kerry. Free for the Kingdom. Hall. Yes, indeed. Just, just inside the 45 yard line Yeah, you're, as I said to you at half time it's how clear you use this extra man they haven't used him at all no no, they haven't but you'd have to say and give Kerry great credit we've really upped the ante they've played better football in particular we'll notice that Peter Crowley James O'Donnell for me is having a blinder and signing that full forward line Paul Ganey probably the goal miss you know, but we're playing better and like we said earlier and it's not rocket science one and one when we're under clear defenders we have the legs in them and we can wouldn't, beat them <coughs> wouldn't Kerry be better off now if they put their extra man up in corner forward I think because so you, or else at midfield you can mark an extra man if he's not there to we'll have to give Anthony Maher and Jack Barry you know we went from position being well beaten in the first half we started the second half very well then we're more than holding our own there James O'Donoghue from in front of the post outside the D with the left peg and James has missed it wow that's most unlike James O'Donoghue but he's missed that, that one. That was to put four points in. It's now 1 to 15 points. 20 Substitution. Minutes. Pierce Lillis is going off. And John Hayes is coming in. Hayes was number seven. He originally was supposed to start the game, but he didn't. And I can tell you, Ambrose, that Jonathan Lyne is about to come in for the kingdom. It will be a defender, surely, Willis. Well, he's thrown off the top. And Jonathan Lyne from Legion will come in. He's going up front, I think. He's going up front because Eamon is pointing he's up to the pointing. forwards. Possibly wing forwards, maybe Michael yeah. Ganey, possibly. Yeah, Michael, is, like you said, the leg is heavily strapped. Although Michael Fennis is dead. It's Carl O'Connor. Second half. Carl O'Connor now taking on Jack Barry. Still Carl O'Connor, the midfielder on the far side of the field. Carl having a right good effort from the sideline. It's curling. No, oh, left fine. and wide for Clare. Substitution for Kerry. Yes, it is. Michael Ganey, Ambrose, going off. And Jonathan Lyne coming in. Jonathan Lyne, yeah. The legs, I think, put that, 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 that sense that the, you know, our, def- our forwards, we have the legs in the clear defenders. And it's more important that we use Jonathan as well as a very speedy player. Use your legs, run at him. We're against the breeze, so we need ball carriers. And it's worked to treat for us in the second half. And, and for the other hand, it's running well. And if I can lip-read Eamon Fitzmaurice, he turned around to a, a forward and he said, you're next. And the man he said it to was Kieran Donaghy. So, Brian Sheen went along earlier for a warm-up and we haven't seen any sign of him since. No. But Michael Ganey, anyway, is called ashore. The 1-9 to clear. 15 points to Kerry. And 21 minutes gone in the second half. 
the kick out again Jack Barry goes high for this and Anthony Maher stays down much better second half from Anthony Maher and, and by and Barry in fairness indeed on midfield but we've lost possession Gary this is dangerous and this is a chance again for Gary Brennan the captain from Clare trying to take on Peter Crowley fouled by Crowley free into Clare just to put two <clears throat> points in it with 20, 22 minutes gone we're, well, not, we're not out of the woods here at all Gary no we're not but this will be a free in for and Peter Crowley is he getting a yellow card he's not it's ticking but uh, he and James Ogden who are right Ambrose the leading lights oh, without for, a doubt. for Kerry oh, for me I think James took it upon himself he really came good when we need him most now between threes that's gone scored. over that's another one point game for Owen Cleary and we'll have a pin or head from listening to Billy O'Shea going back in the car from Peter Crowley between that and your birthday I'm not looking forward to this trip home it's been an awful long drive we're not out of the woods at all here yes it could be an awful long drive home yes. 110 to 15 points great catch by Carl O'Connor he's the midfielder for Clare he went high over Anthony Maher and brought it down inside it goes to one Clare again Clare still know they're stuck on it it's only a two point game playing it back here to the substitute well he is the substitute because he started Kieran Russell O'Connor over the top again for Gary Brennan with the kick and oh an inch to the right and wide the right wide is right oh that was a close one oh the two midfielders the two clear midfielders after making two probing runs there thanks be to god nothing came of them two point game 23 minutes gone one 10 15 points two point Kelly game is right score and back maybe a goal back to jack barry kieran kieran donahy is being called he will now definitely be coming in, Star, for the next couple of minutes. And put him straight into the middle of the field, I think. I thought I'd be putting him anywhere. John Fitzgerald. Over there, Shane in right. Tyg Morley there as well in the right half-back position. And it comes to Mark Griffin now. Gone past the half-back line. Mark Griffin approaching midfield. Still Mark Griffin. Gives it to Paul Murphy. Comes in off tackle by the Clareman got in. Paul Murphy keeping his composure. Kerry lead by two. 23, 12 to go of normal time. Will there be a shock? Will there be a twist in the tail? Back it goes to play to uh, Mark Griffin again. Kieran Johnny is ready to come in. He'll be in in the next 60 seconds. The next break of play. Mark Griffin plays it back to Jack Barry. Breaks the tackle. Gets inside two men. Tired limbs out there now by both sides. Conditions haven't been great this afternoon. This is uh, Ty Borley getting inside the 45 yard line on the far side of the field. Here comes Peter Crowley again. He's here, there and everywhere. The man from the banks of the lawn. Peter Crowley again for the kingdom. Crowley, lovely pass inside. And a Kerry player taken out of it. There's surely free in. After a while, clear safe of the free out. That, that was that Jonathan Lyne fouled. Jonathan Lyne, yeah. Played for his free, got the free. Vital stage of the match. That's what, can I need to slow down a little bit now? No, we're being a small bit fanatic now and we're trying to speed up everything. Take your time now. 24 minutes gone, nearly 25 minutes gone. But this over the ball and clear demonstrated with the referee and the ball has actually been moved in. Three point uh this oh, no, he's ten metres in from the the stand side of the field is about twenty. James Odenho. James Odenho will kick this to the left foot surely. Four frees and three from play. He's so far. Well. He's played very well in fairness to him. He scores and he got scores at a crucial time. He brought us back into the game. He's played well. But I'm amazed at Claire that they've kept number four on him for the whole game. Well, we still haven't had this free because the referee has gone in having a chat with his umpires. And now he's coming out, and you know, there's a lot of writing in this notebook this afternoon. He's, he's now going to Dean Ryan, and he's already on a yellow. The right corner back, but no action. Now the free will be taken. James, I don't know who to take this free. Kerry 15, Clare 13. Clare of 110. That goal from the penalty in the first half from David Tuberty. Kerry with a two point lead. This for three. James shouldn't miss this one. And James doesn't miss this one. That's another one for James Ojunahu. Kieran Tonahy coming in, Ambrose, to replace Anthony Maher. That's right. For me, I think fair play to Anthony. He played well in the second half. I thought he was in trouble in the first half. But that, I think that's a good switch. Good move. We need to get our hands on the ball now, particularly in the last 10 minutes. We need to get handled. We, we see what we're hearing this. Tonahy in. John, he trying to get his first touch of the ball, but he's beat it by Clareman. Maher coming off to the side of the field. 16 points to 110. Kerry not out of the woods yet, though. Gene Ryan, maybe four or five points lead. Yes, not with three, though. It's still dangerous. Fitz Morris shakes the hand of his fellow North Kerry man. Good shift, he says, put in. Particularly very good second half by Maher. He's run out of steam now, I would think. Ball is played outside again to Cahill O'Connor. He's the clear midfielder. He's sensing blood. He's going for glory. That score was never on and he's kicked it left and wide. And the last two or four scores have been bad wides by Clare. They've missed an odd. They've had three or four attacks there. And, and kicked three very bad wides. Now Johnny has been booked, Ambrose. Okay. I didn't see what he did. I have no idea. I was following the... I was following the passage of play. 60 seconds later, Kieran Johnny has been booked. 
yellow card to the Austin Stacks man. I've no idea what he did. I have no idea either, but. But Paddy Hughes has an idea he's because very he's efficient. Paddy Hughes when it comes to carry man, I notice. Donahue is out under this one, and Donahue breaks it down to himself. Good work by the Stacks man. Now, Kieran Donahue, the crowds rise to him whenever he gets on the play. He's still a great old favourite. This is Tyg Morley. Tyg Morley and Jonathan Lyon over on the far side of the field. The attendance today: five thousand seven hundred and eighty-six people have turned up here this afternoon. Eamon, Eamon Fitzmaurice looks at his watch. He'll see there's twenty-seven minutes gone in the second half. He's now calling Brian Sheen. He definitely will come in. Crowley again. Peter Crowley brushing the tackle gives it inside now to oh, what a tackle what a dangerous tackle on Stephen O'Brien by Kieran Russell if this, this, this is not a dismissal Ambrose O'Donovan I don't know what to say it can surely be a black card and anyway. a minimum black card they're not finding him that yellow card that was around the neck challenge last man back Stephen was two on goal there's no point demonstrating with you with, with the umpire my good man I mean the rules are the rules but isn't it, isn't it the feature of the game for both sides today, the yeah, amount of high tackles? Exactly, it's something we'd certainly want to spatten up and before, as we continue our journey on this championship, you know, whether it be qualifiers or, or championship, you know, proper. Oh, you can't get away with tackling on the neck, that's a very serious tackle. It's serious in the player you're doing it to, and plus the fact that the referee takes an awful dim view of it. It'll be yellow, I'd say. Russell is having a right good warning. I mean, what's yellow. he talking about? He's very lucky then, I can tell you that. The crowd think the same. It was a very high tackle in Stephen O'Brien, but you know something, fair play to O'Brien, he got up and about, he didn't stay down the no, ground like... he doesn't do that Like, like, like Martin McMahon stayed down when Dunnicke Walsh was booked. Yeah, exactly, and it would give O'Brien great credit. Great credit he's been credit a great him. asset since he came on here in fairness to him. And it's Again, a, took us out of a hole when we needed I think him. O'Brien is set to Fitzmaurice in management. Lads, I'll be starting if we get into this monster final. Jack Barry has been <laughs> called ashore, and Brian Sheehan has come in for the final two minutes and additional time. Brian Sheehan. And he's going to kick in the free. He is. Well, this will be the quickest score ever by substitution, I suppose, would it? <laughs> How long is he on the pitch? Well, 15 it's seconds. It's first touch of the ball, in, yeah. This will be, this will be a, a sports quiz question, or if he can put it over. Yeah. Well, it's a tight angle, all right, but you'd fancy Brian to have a cut at this one. I watched him in the warm-up there having a few frees, and he popped them over with ease. One ten to clear, 16 to carry, 29 gone in the, on the clock. It's the test that the kingdom wanted, without a shadow of a doubt. Here comes Brian Sheen with the kick, and he doesn't miss those ones. Brian Sheen straight over the bar after just being introduced. Yeah, it's quickest score ever. I think ten seconds was it. He ran up and kicked it out of the bar. Great score, more importantly from a carry perspective. At 29 minutes gone, it's putting clear. It's giving us a four-point margin. So clear now. Need a goal to get back into this. They do indeed. 29:37. Whatever the fourth official will allow now for injury time, we'll have to wait to see. Well, we're five minutes away from that. So remember, Brian Sheen now will have to. Nailed down the midfield himself. New midfield partnership now for Kerry. It's Donahue and Sheehan. Here's Russell, the man that's just got the booking. Brian Sheehan standing up to him. Getting a little bit around the shoulders, not the neck. The, it's yeah, high. It, it is high, yeah. One of our players are tackling high. It's something that has to be addressed, I think, in training. The next night that Kerry meet up. A free now to be taken by Owen Cleary. He's got three of them from freeze already. 110 to 17. Five minutes to go of normal time. Owen Cleary to take this one outside the 45-yard line. Here he comes. Cleary with the kick. And... Oh, Kelly fumbled it. Ah, but it went out for a 45. That wide. wasn't a great catch. Brian should have left it go because it was going out wide. Now, he probably didn't know it. <laughs> we can see it here, but that ball was going... Right. Two, three feet wide. Myself and one of the carry selectors just looked at each other in the passage play. We both shook our head at each other. I won't name him which one of them it was, but anyway... I think he was saying the same. Why didn't he let that ball go wide? Because... I don't know, anyway. He fumbled it and it's a 45 for Clare. And Keelan Sexton is to take this 45. They're warming up Johnny Buckley now again. And they're warming up Dan Sullivan. Here comes Keelan Sexton, dead straight in front of the post. This to cut the gap again for Clare. 17 to 110, the scoreline. Sexton from the 45. He's pulled it to the other side and he's pulled it badly wide. That's six wides in the second half. I make it for clear, Ambrose. Yeah, they played badly with the breeze. They played far, far better against the breeze. Kevin Harnett, the full back, has been replaced by Owen Collins. Number 17. That's another change for clear. He had a tough bit of an afternoon as well, Mr. Hartnett. All they played all right, and Paul Gain, you'd have to say. So it's looking at the moment. We won't count the chickens yet because there's still four minutes plus injury time. 
It's lucky at the moment that it could be a Kerry Cork Munster final and it'll be cleared in the qualifiers. But I'll tell you something, Clare will make the qualifiers difficult. They could yet reach a semi final or quarter final like last year. Brian Sheen goes up and mine, he says, and he gathers it easily. Brian Sheen, the St. Mary's man, getting away from two Clare players over there, releasing another man. That's Jonathan Lyne. Jonathan back to Tyg Morley. He's at a solid game at wing back. This is Brian Sheen again, hopping the ball in the middle of the feet and plays it back to Paul Murphy. Out to his left hand side, he's got Jack Savage. Jack doing the roaming road at wing forward. Lovely little ball into space to Paul Murphy. Now Kerry are opening them up. Still Paul Murphy. Hadn't been put in there from Gary Brennan. Paul Murphy holding on to possession. Back it goes again to Stephen O'Brien. Lovely little dummy. Oh, two beautiful dummies. O'Brien, this could seal it. Goal! Stephen O'Brien into the back of the net. And Kerry can book their tickets for the Munster final. Exactly what we said. He took that ball out of 45 yards. Dummy, three clear defenders. Took it on the right foot. Bullet. Well, every left-hand corner, no goal in the country stopped that. Great goal by Stephen O'Brien, just what the doctor ordered. Great introduction. And I can tell you, he's putting his hand up and saying, boys, I want to start the Munster final against Cork and Parky Creeve. I think he's putting his hand up and saying, boys, I should start the Munster final in Parky Creeve. He's made a whale of a difference, Stephen O'Brien. Brilliant score. Two dummies. They weren't solo dummies. They were both hot dummies. And they both went through and rifled it into the back of the net. Johnny Buckley coming on to replace Paul Keeney. 117 to one. 10 Ambrose uh, but it's the test that the kingdom wanted exactly exactly we played better against the breeze Claire didn't Claire never utilised the extra man we actually played better you know against the breeze than with 14 but you'd have to say you know our second half performance was probably what we wanted we were probably ring rusting the first half playing with the breeze we were kind of it was our first game give them credit where credit is due they put in a second a second half performance that's really what we believe that this team can do played good football played at a high level moved the ball quick ran at the clear defence clear really had the answers for us when they came down to brass tags or, or to give our management credit as well our switches worked for them all our switches worked so yeah all in all you know 117 110 and this kick a uh, long free and it's gone right and wide seven wides David Tubber you know something else has been in Kerry's favour Ambrose in the second half is the weather conditions sunshine. because we've had sunshine in the, the second half the still blowing but with no rain you're dead no. right and all sunshine right it out great to see Johnny Buckley back in the green and gold jersey yeah. as well. he's been a long time out with injuries he's been plagued with injuries this year great to see him back he's a gentleman a great ambassador for football great to see him back in the green and, and the Kerry captain exactly he's great to see him back I'm delighted for him Johnny's a lovely fella the kick out now from Brian Kelly and he's looking for his captain Johnny Buckley Johnny breaks it down but there should be a clear man under it there is gathered here Dean Ryan now a lot of the 5,786 have now decided to leave the queues of Cork here in Innes. This is Jamie Malone running at Kerry again. Here's a chance. This is the corner back away up into Brian Kelly's hands. It was a Dean Ryan, but Brian Kelly gathered that. 117 to 110. 34 minutes gone. We're waiting for the fourth officials board to tell us how much we've played of additional time. Peter Crowley cross. Wow, what a pass. About 40 yards from one corner flag nearly to the other. And he releases Shane Inright. Shane Inright into space to James O'Donoghue. James O'Donoghue now for the kingdom. Sell James on Johnny into space to Johnny Buckley. Johnny's on the run. Sell Johnny. Johnny's got help inside there. Is that O'Brien? Work it in. O'Brien and Buckley combining over there. They both have it. Surrounded by Clareman inside there. O'Brien, I think, going through again. And ball is released here too. Shane Inright from in front of the post. The left corner back says, I want to get a point in the Munster semi-final. And he's got it. Yes, indeed. But again, credit. Great work by Johnny Buckley and indeed by Stephen O'Brien. Lovely move by Kelly. And that's what I love to see here as well today. For the listeners at home, that was three passes. Three two-foot passes and a hand pass. Put the ball over the bar. Great score. We took the ball 50, 60 yards with two kick passes. And punch pass and put it over the bar. Great score. Well, the Kerry selectors have left us here on the right-hand side, Morrison, Mikey. And again, credit to the, you mentioned it, credit to the Minters. They had to make changes, they did make changes, and thankfully those changes have worked out, Ambrose. They certainly have. I think they made good moves, albeit as far as it may be. It's for my liking, but when they made them, they had great effect. In particular, I think Stephen O'Brien. You'll have to say, you know, given that performance, you know, the second half, that was what we High expect. High ball inside. Kerry. Gathered inside again by Peter Crowley. We've had another change. Gerard O'Brien, 26, replacing Cahill O'Connor. Uh, I know it's only a talk of a thing, Ambrose, but two Kerry players in contention for man of the match. A Legion man and a Long Rangers man. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, for me, I, I probably, James, I probably shaded for me. I think he, he, he got the scores at vital stages for us. Now, when we were in trouble, he stepped up to the mark. He came good for us. We do need leaders, and certainly himself and Peter Crowley. Well, that's because you're living in Killarney, is it? It's not because... <laughs> <laughs> James O'Donoghue with the ball in the middle of the field again. Fouled this time 
Yeah, it's between James O'Donnell and Peter Crowley. Oh, brilliant ball from James. Just overcooked it. Looking for Jack Savage. The fact that he kicked nine points as well, then I would come yeah, in. That helps. That, that would come into the fray as well of giving you man of the match. That helps. Three from play, six frees. Uh, 118 to 110. We'll play to 38. We're on 36 and a half. The Kingdom and Cork, Kerry and Cork in yet another Munster final. Well, it wasn't last year's Munster final, of course, but it will be this year's. And rumour has it, very strong rumours today, that it will be. It's not official yet that it will be the... And I spoke to one of the members of the Munster Council here beforehand. And this is a chance of a kick. Good and sport. I can tell you from Owen Cleary. And I just want to give a mention to Ed, Don, Ed Donlan. Ed is a former PRO of the Munster Council. He was most helpful for us. We had a few technical dif difficulties uh, before the match this uh, afternoon. And I can tell you, he didn't leave us down. He wasn't caught one. Ed Donnelly um, of, of the Munster Council uh, take a bow thanks a million for, for helping us out here this afternoon So, but Ed was telling me it's not official that Pocket Creep will be open for the Munster final but 95% sure that it probably will Johnny Buckley to gather the ball for the Kingdom 118 to 111 Johnny Buckley into space to Paul Murphy the carry backs now attacking in droves this is James O'Donoghue James O'Donoghue Dill still trying to get inside his man again great block it's a brilliant block is that by Kelly I'm not sure but a brilliant block inside there by the clear men and they haven't thrown in the towel yet this is Gary Brennan Gary Brennan now going through still Gary they need a goal points it all good to him Kieran Donahue facing up to him trying to get inside him releases Owen Cleary oh off the upright oh, or off oh. the crossbar I think Brian Kelly got a touch to it I think he Owen got Cleary a, to a bullet a, a bullet a point for clear yeah 112, 118, high scoring as well. Do you know you'd win a lot of games at 112, wouldn't you? you well, you would, then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly you would. Anyway, the kick out is quickly taken by uh, Brian Kelly to Shane Inright. We'll have no more. The full time whistle has gone here in Cusick Park in Ennis and carry her through to yet another Munster final, Ambrose. 118 to 112. We had to work for it. Questions were asked, but we answered them. We were indeed, and they were asked, and I think our